Saturday, January 30th. It's a nice day out here in Ontario. We're bringing the Doom Buggy, the, the Hammerhead 250 SS Super Sport. We're gonna bring it out. Having a few problems with it. And we're gonna we're gonna look into it. It's been a while actually. It's, how long has it been? Oh man. It's probably been about four or five months, man. Four or five months this thing been sitting. We had a lot of fun with it in the summer. Getting muddy, all that goodness. This is what's up with this uh, Hammerhead 250 Super Sport. This is actually Canadian made. It's not that China crap that you see, see around that you drive for one week and then the next week it doesn't work. And then you're throwing it on Kijiji for 50 bucks. This is the real deal right here. We actually, uh, first off, we, we did a we did a few things here. Got a few extras. Did the old uh, short ram air intake. Pumping in pure air right from the back. That thing, you can hear it sucking when you're sitting right there. It's pretty sweet. You want uh, some nice stainless steel headers right there with this exhaust. It was just a dinky, ratty old thing. Well, new thing, but it was. It was dinky on there before we threw that on. You can actually see flameage. We'll get a video of that another day. Um, at night, when it backfires, you get some flame coming through there. It's pretty sweet. Um, other things this is. Ground, ground clearance on this thing, it's like, it's about eight and a half inches, nine inches. Uh, it's got rear independent um, suspension. Um, those are actually oil down like shocks there. It's pretty sweet. It's got the front. These are um, A-arm independent suspension on the front. It's got the A-bar right there. It's actually very good. It's got, it's got amazing steering, amazing suspension. Uh, we got added this here, this wench. It can, it can handle anything, man. It can pull this thing out of anything. We've had, we've had it stuck many times. Thing does wonders. We just uh, cobbled that thing on there. That's uh, cut with a plasma cutter. Get the old frame, this whole entire frame here. Put that on. Wired the the wench all through there, all clean, right down through the middle. All the way to the back to this power source right here. This is the main power source. This actually, we got going here, believe it or not, we have an amp for speakers. The amp for the speakers, these are the speakers right here. They came with it. It's a really cool feature. We're cruising around the bush. We got the ACDC going. We got the Led Zeppelin going. It's freaking awesome, man. Uh, the amp. Oh, I have to get D D's opinion on. Where's the amp located again? The amp is mounted. Uh, oh, we got the amp right there. That's the amp for the speakers. It's a neat feature that they did on this hammerhead. It is awesome, just got the tunage going through the bush. It runs right up into the front here, to this audio jack. We just pop in the iPod, whatever. It goes straight up into there. Right there, that's where the audio goes in. And it plays through those speakers. Amazing dash right here. This thing lights up. Lights up like a shooting star, actually. It looks amazing at night, it's all blue. Got the horn. A cigarette lighter, you can do anything you want. It's charge your cell phone, whatever. Spotlight. Like, yeah, we got sp like spotlight, whatever. They, the, it's endless with that. It's amazing that they did this. this. High beams, low beams, turn signals. I mean, it's plated for the Ontario there. We got, like, it's plated for the, tr the tracks. Uh, got a rat on the front. This is liquid cooled uh, four stroke. Rat on the front, or on the back. A rat to the front. Little rat on the front. Got the pipe going right through this uh, tubing here, all the way to the back of the engine. Keeps it nice and clean. Oh yeah. Again, and safe, protected. And uh, I don't know what else I forget. It's hydraulic disc brakes all the way around. Uh, it's rear wheel drive. Would have been nice to make it in the four wheel drive, but I mean that's what. Yeah, it, that's it's what not four wheel drive, but this thing still hauls ass, man. What we got up there? A little case. Kid Fox, is that yeah, you? Yeah, where's Kid Fox when you need him? Is that you? Probably <laughs> not, but what's up, buddy? Yeah. And 
Yeah, I got the four point harness. That's pretty much all I can think of right now. It is a two seater side by side. A little nicer than a quad. You gotta grab the person in front of you. Got the winch controls right here actually. Clean. And that's about it. Now we'll probably get a DED cameraman, aka a country kid for life. And uh, we'll get you to see if we can start this bad boy. What do you think? Let's do it. All right. We're gonna try to get her started. Now we do have one problem. The ignition is a bit funky, so we're trying to start it. We really want to get it to go to have some fun in the snow. But as you can see, what we got going on is it has only one tiny spot where it catches to get powder here. We are trying cold start again, do you remember? Yeah, this thing's been sitting for months. Just won't catch, so we need, we need your help out there if you know how to. Well, I think the problem is I don't know if you can get in on here, but this is the on position, and this generally did light up, but now it won't. And I have to get it to one little spot here. I gotta mess with it, and I can find that range. But when it falls back, it just won't stay lit. All right, so we need your help out there because we're cheap and we don't want to buy another ignition. So let us know how can we fix that. I don't want to wreck the starter either. So.